I bet you all been wondering what we've been doing in the office these days. Not a whole lot. We uh, were out in Seattle for a while, so I didn't get to work on my piles yet. And I'm uh, just kind of showing you how things are right now, because hopefully this weekend I can get quite a bit of this uh, mess straightened out. We'll see. Well, for all you uh, accountants out there, I'm, I'm using the last in, first out principle. These were the last two things I got, so they'll be the first two things out of Judy's sewing room. So I better go get a knife to help me open this up. Okay, now these are both identical. I found them at a furniture shop in the kids' department. And what they are are bed tables. goes by the bed. So I got two of them in black because I think they'll go well in the office. So I'll try and give you, as you can see, it's it's definitely black. They put all kinds of staples in here that I like to get all the staples out. So once you get all the cardboard removed, then you have to pull the staples. I'll show you. You can see there are quite a bit of pretty big staple. I don't know if you can see that. So now I have to locate the knobs which are inside the drawer here. Again stapled to the wall. But also in here, if you're interested, this is made by Lang, Lang Furniture. And they do have a website, www.langfurniture.net. Well, <clears throat> I got the uh, knobs loose, and of course they're in the package, which is probably a good thing. Keeps everything together. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to uh, mount the knobs. The knobs are kind of interesting because I think they match the desk we already have. That little book. Okay, so we'll go from the uh, reading room, reading room slash sewing room, into the office. The next piece uh, we will work on is the two drawer vertical cherry file, cherry color, doesn't mean it's holding cherries. But it's by Z-Line Designs, and I got it at Staples, but we need to put this one together. But it'll be a two-drawer file cabinet. Well, now it's another mystery of how to open this thing. And this, you never know when you start opening what you run into. Color. Start pulling out pieces. We're just kind of putting around the area here until we get to the instructions so we can start putting this together. It's going to be interesting to see what this looks like when it's all done. Hopefully, it'll work right. And it should because I got Judy helping me. I don't know about you, but it's hard for me to believe that all these pieces, there's the instruction book, all the little pieces I'm going to need or will need, the sides. Well, they did put in the rollers for the drawers. That's a good thing. So, let the venture begin. Well, took a short break, went got a haircut, come home, getting ready to start on this uh, two-drawer cabinet. Just couldn't get started, so I waited till this morning. And uh, Judy is going to work at Earl May this weekend. She kind of enjoys doing that. And so I'm going to try and see what I can do on my own. This will be real interesting. 
Okay, it's been about an hour, <clears throat> so it's about time to get a refill of coffee. And all the pieces have been put together. There's a lot of small parts that have to go in, and some of the uh, dowels have to be glued. So I'm going to let this sit for about an hour before I start assembling the two drawer. Okay, breaks over. This is like working on a three-dimensional puzzle. I feel like I'm in Star Trek. The two drawer is done. The only thing left is to put the two drawers, which are completed, into the stand. I'm down to the last box, which is going to be my chair. And I checked it out, and I'm okay because it has a 250-pound limit. And I'm under that, not by a whole lot, but quite a bit, actually. Okay, this is Joe's new chair for his office. But I did notice it said, Manager Office Chair. I don't think so. He's no manager in this household. Get it out here in the middle of the room. Need the knife. Maybe because I can cut this cardboard up and we can get it out to the recycler today. And there's all the pieces. I think I'll take all those pieces out and kind of spread them out on the floor so I can see everything. We'll see the we... box has been emptied. And it looks like the bottom part of the chair that ends up on the floor and there's some rails and some casters and the back the seat and the backrest. And there's the instructions. Step 1. That's a good place to start. Well, hopefully we have enough casters. They must just go in here. Oh yeah, snaps right in place. Looks a little short right now. I think we need to add something. I'll see what other parts in part two here. That's it. And I need to get the uh, seat cushion. And we're going to put a bracket on it. And I think this is the seat cushion. And this is the bracket. What part is that? I'm putting the base to the back of the seat. Well, I'll we'll put the seat. bolts out and I need four of those and this one's right it has an R on it I do the left next Got the two bottom ones in, so now we got to swing this up and get the top ones in. 
was starting to look like a chair anyway.